Hi, Steve from Wandsworth Physiotherapy and Osteopathy. So the next most common running injury that we treat here is shin splints. Now this is a, a generic term for a number of different conditions which can cause pain on the inner side of the shin and going down into the inner ankle. So there's probably two more common types of shin splints that we see and that will be either um, a tendinopathy of the muscles and the tendons as they come around the inner side of the shin here or stress fractures on the on the shin bone now they'll both present slightly differently and they'll both need slightly different management so if we think about tendinopathy first the most commonly injured muscle is the posterior tibialis it comes off of the back of the shin and the tendon runs down along the inner side of the ankle and it comes into the foot and it acts as a support to support the foot during your running gait. Now if you've got a particularly pronated foot or your foot pronates when you run it's going to put more stress on that tendon and it's going to cause the tendinopathy. So the management for this is you may well be able to continue running but you need to reduce your running volume by 40 or 50 percent. You need to not necessarily stretch your, your calf so much or, or your tendon you may need to, but you definitely need to start strengthening the tendon as with other tendon injuries. You may also need to see a podiatrist to see if you need insoles to support that medial arch of your foot inside your shoe. Now, stress fractures, these tend to present slightly differently. It's a very localized point of pain on the inner shin bone, and there can sometimes be a little bit of swelling just over that area as well. Now, the management for this is different. You shouldn't run through um, a stress fracture you need to rest and you need to decrease the load completely you may need to go into a, an air cast boot for a period of two to four weeks while you're resting and that takes the load out of the shin and just allows the bone to heal and when you come out of the boot you'll then need to stretch and strengthen your calf and again you may also need to see a podiatrist to look at your footwear and to look at the uh, flexibility and mobility in your foot that might have been predisposing you to the stress fracture and to see whether you need insoles to support that uh, inner arch of your foot.